Hey everyone, my name is Lady Erin and welcome to my world. So I was planning to record a Minecraft video for you today to show off the awesome roller coaster that I had been working on for quite a while. But since it's Friday, all of my software has decided to rebel. I can't record anything right now and I can't really sign into anything right now. So it doesn't look like that video is going to happen and you're stuck with another vlog. The downside is that I really didn't have a plan to make a vlog today, so I don't really know what to talk about. The only thing that I can really think of is to go ahead and give you my list of the best video games, or my favorite video games, I guess I should say, because best is a relative term, and we'll just have to go from there, because I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> I'm still working on getting my software back up, and I will be trying to get some gameplay videos in, but I'm not entirely sure when that's going to happen. Okay, so my all-time favorite video game would have to be Skyrim. If you've played it, you know it. If you haven't played it, you need to, because it's amazing. It's an open-world game full of adventure and dragons and vampires and Daedra that are trying to get you to do their bidding and Aedra who don't really care and it's just it's wonderful there's it's a lot of uh, choices you have to make and there's a lot of monsters you have to fight and you can build a house if you get the expansions and it's just, it's just a great game. It's an amazing game. The graphics are awesome. The entire world is loosely based off of Norse culture, which has fascinated me since I was a kid. And I actually wrote a paper in high school that compared Norse culture and mythology to Egyptian culture and mythology, because those were my two favorites at the time. And there's a few similarities there that I discovered. And there's also a lot of similarities between some other cultures, but that's a whole nother video. But Skyrim, with the mythology the way it is, and the culture the way it is, it gives you the idea of a complete world, and you can completely immerse yourself within the gameplay. Which is why we play video games in the first place, because we're looking for that escape. And if I can lose a couple of hours playing a video game and not even know it, that's a good video game and it's doing its job correctly. So Skyrim, if you haven't played it, go play it now because it is awesome. The second game on my list would have to be the Fable series and there are four in a series, or four in a series, four in the series and I've played the first one part way through but I lost the CD during one of my moving escapades and I haven't been able to finish it. Um, the second one I've played to the end and the ending was rather interesting. You'd have to play it yourself because I'm not going to spoil it. The third one I have played so many times <laughs> because it's the game that I can play over and over and over again and not get tired of it. The third one is my favorite. The fourth one that just came out not too long ago is more connect based than controller based. So I'm actually stuck on a difficult part on that one because it's hard to fight Valverines with a Kinect. And so I'm hoping to get in and finish it at some point. But so far, like, it's really good. The graphics are really good and the, the Kinect controls are pretty decent for what they are. The Kinect's always been a little wonky to me, but it's not bad. Uh, what I like the most about the Fable series, though, is... It's an interesting mix of dark storyline and random humor. Like, there's a lot of comedy in there, but it's kind of subtly integrated within the storyline. And that, to me, that makes it fun. Because you can be going along, fighting the monsters and everything, and then this random thing will happen that'll make you laugh. And it's just, it's a great game. Um, it's not as open world as Skyrim is. But you do have the freedom to go about and do the various things. Like, you don't have to stick to a single storyline or, or a single pathway, I guess I should say. The storyline's the same. 
but you don't have to stick to the single path. You can take however many paths you want to take. There's also a lot of moral um, dilemmas in there because you have to make choices that will, and especially in number three, but you have to make choices that will either benefit or destroy what you're trying to do. So I really enjoy the Fable series and Lionhead Studios has actually closed down which makes me so sad because that means there won't be any more Fable games. But I am super thankful that they gave us what they did because I could play, the, play those games for forever. I do recommend them if you enjoy magic style kind of fighting games with a nice storyline. Definitely get Fable. Start with 3 if you have to, because 3 to me is the best. But you do, you need to play them. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next game I want to talk to you about is Bioshock. Bioshock is incredibly unique in the way that they combine the 50s style with the steampunk, and it's, it's just wonderful because you're you're just trying to survive the chaos of this random land and you have your shotgun in one hand and you have your magic stuff in the other I forgot what it's called and I can't believe that but I wish I knew what it was called or else I tell you but it's basically you get your weapon in one hand and your magic in the other hand and you're just you're trying to survive these crazy crazy people but it's it's incredible. Like I started the game with Infinite by playing Infinite, which is the newest one that's come out. Um, and the ending to that one, let me tell you, it threw me for a loop. Super twisty, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. You got to go play it for yourself. Um, I'm also about halfway through the first one because after I finished Infinite, I decided, hey, this game was pretty awesome. Let's play the other three. So I'm about partway through the first one, and it's it's intense. Like, it's dark, it's gritty, there's the big daddies that you have to fight, and those things are difficult. Um, the shotgun with the electric pellets are your best friend. And it's just, it's a wonderful kind of... I almost want to say a hide-and-seek type game because you're just trying to get through and survive with as little damage as possible and the game just keeps throwing all this stuff at you. So it's a really good game. I, I enjoy that and I would recommend that. And then there's Minecraft. Minecraft is the game that I go to for just mindless entertainment. It's a basic world of building and surviving and fighting the monsters that aren't really that terrifying. Although the skeletons will make you extremely mad. But it's just, it's a great game for learning and a great game for building. And it does get a little old after a while because it's the same thing over and over again. If you don't have a lot of creativity, then your square house is going to get boring after a while. Trust me, I know. But it's, it's just a really good, easy game to get in there and just de-stress and kill a few monsters and build a house or two and fight a villager and well you can't really fight the villagers but you want to because their smug little faces will start to annoy you after a while. So definitely try out Minecraft if you haven't tried it out yet. Um, it's good for kids. My nieces love to play it and my little sister likes to watch it. Uh, she's a little too young to understand the controls just yet but we're gonna get her to play it eventually. Um, and it's just, it's just a great, it's just a great game to just get in and be creative. So that's really all I have to talk about for today. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more. Uh, I am tr hoping to get my first author interview week after next. So I'll be sending out invites to that. Check out the website. There's new stuff posted daily because I'm still trying to get all the old posts transferred over. So there's going to be a lot of new stuff on there. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram to just keep up with the random happenings that go on throughout my life. Which is not all that exciting. But hey, we do what we can. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.